What is up, everybody? My name is Hudson. Welcome to Deep Rock Galactic Survivor. If you guys know me, you know I've been a fan of Deep Rock for a very long time. And we can now experience the same universe as a top-down reverse bullet hell auto shooter. You might be thinking, okay, another one of these. I'm actually really, really excited about this one. Ooh, gunner. We haven't played the gunner at all. Should we try? Weapons Specialist. For every 100 projectiles fired, you shoot out 8 high-powered projectiles in all directions. Starting with the powered minigun. That sounds pretty good, so high fire rate's gonna be beneficial for this character. Alright, yes. so we drop in. This is it. Either the Dreadnought goes, or we send in another dwarf. Was that a threat? First things first, wouldn't be a dwarf game if we didn't mine stuff. So there's terrain manipulation. You'll recognize a lot of these things like gold and nitra and then all of the gemstones or minerals or whatever you want to call them. Uncommon 15% reload speed. So it's an auto shooter. Uh, you'll notice that we automatically fire our minigun and then it'll hit a point where it's out of ammo and it takes some time to reload that. This green stuff, that's one of the minerals that's uh, used for upgrades. Was that Jadis? This guy's on my butt. This guy's on my butt. Get him off my butt. Shoot him! I'm reloading! Ah! 15% fire rate again. If we can get this gun to level 12, we will unlock something called overclocks, and it kind of makes the game entirely to have overclocks. So I'm gonna be very narrow in my scope right now, putting the horse blinders up. Even if I have to take common, like technically bad upgrades, it's more important for me to get level 12 than anything else in this run. This is more kite here, the blue stuff. So I want to get that more kite. It's a secondary objective you see in the upper right. We're 13 out of 20 so far. There's a red crystal right there. That is health if we were to mine that. You really got to get upgrades here. Shoot, shoot. It seems like there's like some sort of break period in shooting that is unrelated to actually reloading it. It says right there on the left, upgrade your weapons to level 12 to unlock powerful overclocks. This game doesn't have a synergy system that I know of. Overclocks is kind of like that niche of the game. Incendiary grenade sets ground on fire. I do want to go for a high fire rate because of the, you know, every hundred bullets we shoot something out. But I also feel like an AOE right now could be really good. Revolver could be cool, but it's low fire rate, high damage. I kind of want to show you guys some of the overclocks. It's going to make a difference. Let's pick a build and go with it. I, I do think that I, if I get the option to take the AOE fire grenades again, that I want to go for it. I also said that I was going to be uh, narrow in my focus to try to go for the, the upgrades for the first weapon, but here I am kind of thinking that survival would have me going for this new weapon that I just picked up. And this will put it at level 2, and you'll see that at level 6, 12, and 18, there's that bigger pip. That's going to be those overclocks that we're, that we're gone in for. Gone in for, get it? On the top, you'll notice that there are certain events that happen, and I think that bar increases over time, and depending on how many kills that I get. Uh, you need to start shooting, buddy. Splody Glyphids. Those guys can uh, do some massive AoE and, and kind of chain reaction and, and clear out the bugs if you can position them correctly. Here's a supply drop. If I clear the area, then that supply drop will come down. The boss is almost upon us, so we better get ready here. And we don't have all the Morkite. I didn't get all the stuff on the map. There's more gold. There's more Nitra. There's more important things that we want. When that ring gets full, it's going to kill all this stuff. Nice. Let's go plus 6% XP gain, and then we're gonna get a special level up here from the supply pod. Small chance to find nitro when mining rock. Collecting red sugar increases your max HP or increase the healing granted on level up. I kind of like extra nitra. Nitra is used to upgrade our weapons at the shop at the end of every level. Pick up radius, reload speed, or movement speed. Oh, these are all good. Let's beat the gun, let's beat the gun. Get some overclocks. Oh man, we got one of those magnets. Uh, we just picked it up and so we grabbed all the XP from the entire map, so we're leveling up multiple times now. Let's go bigger cogs again. No, you know what? Fire rate. Titan Springs. Oh, the, the elite mech terror is on me. Okay, it's the flying dude right here. I don't really want to kill him just yet, but if you take too long, they actually get stronger and stronger. I need three more Morkite. Can you, can you leave me alone for a second? Can you just let me, can you just let me mine? If this thing's got the turn radius of a minivan. All right, there we go. We got, whoa! Got the secondary objective there. It exploded in a bunch of gold and experience. See, now, plus six armor would be amazing, but I, I gotta go for the weapon upgrades. Leave me alone. Leave me alone. Leave me alone. The flying ones are pretty tough because they can fly. Cool talk. Ah, I'm getting eaten. I'm getting eaten. 
It takes a long time to mine. Uh, mining speed upgrades go a long way. Let's go for an overclock. Bigger cogs on my deep core. All right, if I don't get to the drop pod, the whole thing is over. And I actually have lost once recently like that. So you do kind of need to rush, but we're already there. So I can take a little bit more time, get some more XP. Okay, 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 okay. let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Paint job lets you imagine your weapon is now a lot prettier. Increase weapon level by two. So that doesn't give you any benefits other than just leveling it up faster, but that'll get us to our overclock. Battery bullets or high caliber rounds. Battery bullets change the damage type to electrical. That'll do some like AOE chain lightning. High caliber round says plus 30% damage, minus 30% fire rate, plus piercing shots. That could be really, really cool. We kind of have a fire rate build going on. And I think that electrical is kind of like piercing in a way. Let's go battery bullets. Oh, just in time. Ooh, paint job for our minigun. Costs 18 nitra. That's almost all of it. Let's go movement speed. When I hover over it, you'll notice that there are arrows up on those two weapons. So for example, this would not apply to the grenades. I'm gonna reroll the shop. Epic. We have 30% fire rate on all projectile weapons. That's gonna be all my money. Do it. I wanted to find mining speed because I really think that's one of my favorite upgrades, but this is pretty okay. And we're level eight out of 12 on the minigun. And those on the left, there's a total of five levels. We are on the second. The final level has a boss fight. We gotta collect Bulo cats. There's one right there. Sorry, loot bugs. It's free real estate. It's probably worth it for us to ignore a lot of the enemies for now. Swarm incoming already. We need some mining speed upgrades. We need mining speed upgrades. Oh God. I really want to know when we can make a Steve in Deep Rock. There's ability to uh, train one of the Glyphids to be your little pet buddy. New weapon. We got uh, incendiary grenade again. Jury rigged boomstick, the shotgun. I have the overclocks unlocked on both of these. Both pretty low fire rate though. And I did say that I kind of want to try the incendiary grenade. Let's see it. I don't know why you chucked it over there when there was a giant pile of enemies on the other side, but that is kind of nice sometimes, you know, playing an auto shooter that you just don't have to worry about it. You see that burn damage? That seems pretty good. I mean, no one's dying yet, but if it can soften them all up, look at that. Might be a good way to be able to hit uh, backliners like that, the, the bomb guys in the back that you couldn't just shoot normally. All right, let's get the supply drop here. Upgrade, increase healing granted on level up. Plus 70 max HP, plus two life regen, or a small chance to get nitro when mining any kind of rock. It looks delicious, but I kind of want more nitra. We'll be fine, our health will be fine. Ow, ow, ow! I love the explosion, like fireworks. Boss is awake, there it is already. I need mining speed, I need mining speed. I'm gonna try to loop through here, get all the XP before we kill the boss. Level 10 on the minigun. That feels good. Aliens grow stronger. I'm cutting them around, so they're gonna make it tougher and tougher on me. But I kind of want to get all the good stuff. Sir, excuse you. Probably should think about killing them soon. The unfortunate thing about getting the overclocks unlocked on a weapon is that you won't be able to enjoy the overclocks on this run. All right, we need to kill them. Get him, get him, get him. We're kind of trapping ourselves in here. Mining through the rock is gonna be our only way out. Tricky path back to our uh, drop pod. Uh oh, go through the wall. All right, we made it, we made it, we made it. Done. 5% mining speed. Don't mind if I do. Paint job on my grenades. Yeah, let's paint them before I throw them and they explode. 30% fire rate on all projectile weapons. That sounds cool. Damage of all your weapons. That applies to even my grenades. I want to see if I can't get more upgrades for mining. There's a level 12. There's level 12 for the minigun. That feels good. 25% damage on my grenades. That's level 7 already. You know what? 9% XP gain, sure. Level three. One thing that I feel like this game might be missing is some multiplayer. I don't I don't know how that would pan out. It could be really, really frustrating given how slow everything is. You imagine like your buddy walks in a different direction. It would take you a while to get to each other. Also, it's really, really important how you kite enemies around the map and having to balance that with another person might be a little unmanageable, but Deep Rock has just always been 
about the co-op experience. So, I don't know. Part of me still feels like uh, it, it could do really well in this game. New weapon. This one seems like an easy one for me. Zukov is much higher fire rate than everything else. It even says spray. So we'll go with the high fire rate build. Most likely not going to get it to level 12, though, so I'm just not going to concern myself. Gain XP when you take damage. Small chance to find gold when mining rocks. Give it to me. We got to mine more rock. A big swarm is approaching. I'm currently fighting a big swarm. Gosh, that is fun to run through all this XP that drops. We... Elite Mac Terra is already oot in a boot. I have only have eight at 12 Bulo caps. I'm not even close to being prepared. Kind of stinks that we got the flying Mac Terra every single time. All right, Bulo cap, Bulo cap, Bulo cap. Golden Nitra. That sounds really nice. Stupid boss. You're so you're too fast. You're too fast. Let me let me mine. Epic plus 10 luck increases the chance to roll higher rarities. Yeah. Yes, please. We got time. We got plenty of time. 26 seconds. That's like a lifetime. Mining speed. Don't mind if I do again. We gotta get through here though. For real this time. The drop pod is so far away. Nine, eight, seven. Oh, we got our last Bulo cap. Oh, perfect. Perfect timing. I kind of forgot about it, to be honest. Legendary on the new weapon. Yeah, I guess. I already have the overclocks unlocked on it, though. So if I do this, I'm basically just doing it for survivability. Plus two levels on my grenade, level 10. That's really cool. You know what? We'll go movement speed, XP gain, and call it. Four to five. Trying to use terrain to my advantage here. There's a dead end, but that rock is really easy to mine through. So I'm going to try to get everybody to circle away from where this is going to exit. Kill him as long as I can. Come on, keep him, keep him going. 40% status effect damage. Yeah, I'm going to go for that with the fire and the electrical. Uh, right at the end, right at the end is when we break through. And then we got clear, clear path up here. Genius. Grouping them up is going to be really, really good for the fire damage. I mean, and the electrical. 50% health though. All that XP. They're just not giving me grenade upgrades anymore. They know I'm too close to uh, getting uh, two overclocks unlocked in one run. Why are you trying to stop me, bro? I'm serious. They're just actively not getting me what I need here. Level 12 on the deep core. That's an overclock. 15% damage and 25% reload speed or targets the enemy with the highest HP. Big game hunter. I'm going to go with the, a little more oomph. Oh man, I'm, I'm taking too much damage here. And the elite's almost on us. And by elite, I mean the boss. I don't even have my supply drop yet. Oof, 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 oof. That's another flying one and we're trapped. Can I just get my grenade upgraded? Somebody, please. Finally at the point where I need help. I regret not taking more health upgrades. Hurry, hurry, mine, mine, mine. That's, those are bombs, those are bombs. Yikes, dude, look at all those exploding dudes. Look at all this XP left behind. Oh my god, is that a grenade upgrade? Another one? Level 12? Nice. That's gonna be so good for next runs when we can have overclocks on these weapons. Kinda trapped myself in here, didn't I? Oh no, oh no. Oh wow, the chain reaction though on the on the sploders. Holy moly. Now that we've hit level 12, not really a good reason to keep going with it. We need to focus on overall upgrades. I also want to get my deep core to level 18 and get that last super overclock. I'm gonna go with mining speed on this one, though. I think it's gonna be nice to get this supply drop. That'll hopefully give me health. Let's make the supply drop land in the boss. Boom! Red sugar increase max HP, XP when you take damage. Honestly, that one would be pretty nice for us, but I'm gonna go with the plus 70 max HP plus two life regen. We, we gotta take it at this point in time in this economy. I'm not sure I'm gonna get to the supply drop. Excuse me. Overclock on our Zukov. Change the damage type to cold or release an explosion whenever the weapon reloads. I'll try cold damage. We got a few uh, status effect time upgrades. And maybe the drop pod. On to the last level. Upgrade the deep core, mining speed, deep core again. Level 15 now. Legendary pickup radius. Ooh, or mining speed. I gotta go with the legendary. Let's get it. That's the egg for the last boss. In order to get the last boss to come out, we gotta shoot all the smaller eggs. There's three smaller ones, three mini bosses, if you will, that we have to kill. Here's another one. Might as well wake them up while we're here. Uh oh, stop touching me. 
The mining speed upgrades are good. One of the mini bosses down already. More mining speed. Second mini boss. Just about deadsies. And here's the third mini boss. We're ahead of schedule, so I'm gonna take a detour here, get some of these crystals, these minerals. Our supply drop has come down somewhere. Maybe we could use that to do some damage to this mini boss here. Oh God, mining speed is so good. Easily one of my top upgrades. And mini boss is dead. That means the main boss is awake. Increase healing granted on level up. That sounds like a good one for the last area here. Something I think that they did pretty well here is that you still level up quite frequently. A lot of games like this, it's like once you hit a certain level, you just cannot surpass it because you have to get so much more, like an exponential amount more XP in order to get the level ups. But this one, it's, it's pretty consistent with level ups. Mining speed. Oh, don't you tempt me, Frodo. Honestly, I'm, I'm looking for deep core level 18. That's what's gonna do it for me. There we go. Level 17, we're almost level 18 for that max level overclock. So there's a magnet drop. Come on. Probably should head over and crack that egg open. The longer we wait, the tougher it's gonna get, right? Here it is. Or do I wanna spend my time to kind of clear out the area, mine through some of this rock? Because you really don't wanna have a lot of rock around you when you're fighting the final boss. You'll see why. Level 18, deep core, let's go! The favorite, plus 100% damage, plus 100% reload speed, but all of the weapons get minus damage and minus reload speed. Or plus 150% damage, minus 50% fire rate. That's a tough one. That's a really, really tough one. We don't wanna decrease the fire rate because that's our build, but decreasing the reload speed of everything else is gonna also, you know, technically decrease fire rate. Let's do it. Let's do the unstable overclock. Dump everything into this one. This one's got the electrical damage, which is going to be really, really good for that AOE. You can kind of see the shocks happening. Oh, God, I did not mean to wake him up. Maybe we hit the timer. All right, this thing jumps at you. This is why we don't have too many rocks in the way. We got to have mobility here. You do not want to get touched by this guy. You kind of want to goad him to one area, like if I get him to charge there, and then I can run to the right. If I was already running to the right, he might have cut me off, and then I wouldn't have anywhere to go. Like right now, I want him to charge up. And then I, I'll go down where I want to actually go. So you gotta predict his jumps a little bit here. Like this, not a good spot. Oh, almost got pinched in those rocks. Between a rock and a hard place, which is also a rock. Oh, the freeze, nice. Kind of weird how it freezes them in midair. I would kind of like these games, if you were to, to freeze them, to, for them to keep their physics and maybe their frozen body just like hits the ground and rolls for a little bit. That'd be hilarious. You never do see that though. Always breaks physics. We're doing a really good job, 50%. But that can change real quick, especially when we get more enemies. So maybe if I uh, continue to focus on this enemy death ball here, especially with the shock damage and the fire grenades, we could probably cut through it. And as long as I keep circling, oh God, I was gonna keep circling, but they're, they're on me. 50% fire rate on our deep core. Yeah, I suppose that makes sense for us, doesn't it? They're cutting me off on all sides here. I don't like that. Oh my God. The further away we run from the boss, the harder it's gonna be to shoot the boss, right? Because they shoot the closest thing. We never got one of the upgrades that m makes you shoot the higher health enemy. So we do kind of want to keep them close, but not that close. But also, once again, focus on not trapping myself in. Aliens are growing stronger. Oh, good, that's what I want to hear. You guys, there's too many enemies. There's too many enemies. Can't shake them. Go through the wall. Mining speed, mining speed, mining speed. Nice. We got him! Objective complete. We still gotta get to the drop pop. Why can't you pick me up? All right, I'm just gonna go. Just gonna go. Level up right at the end. Yeah, sure. Nice. We fully completed it. This was, of course, on easy difficulty. So there's a lot more to go. Unlock the engineer. Sweet, we have a new character to play. Couple of new things that we unlocked there. New weapon, burst fire gun. Tactical lead burster. Never seen that before. Great, good stuff. You can see that the damage of the deep core, despite the fact that we pumped almost everything into it, the incendiary grenade did more damage and had higher DPS. So do not sleep on the AOE grenades. There is meta progression, so we can go in here and spend all of these extra minerals that we found during the run. For example, to increase my pickup radius, it takes a thousand gold and 10 of the green stuff, which is a name that I totally remember. Yeah, I've been loving this game so far, you guys. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section down below. It's not Isaac, so I'm not planning on having a second episode, but if people are really, really loving it, I would absolutely love to play more. I will, however, be playing this on stream. So if you want to see more of this, most likely your best bet is going to be to join us Tuesdays and Thursdays, 
3 p.m. Central. I highly recommend it so you don't miss moments like this. We're getting a puppy! It's Carl! Look at that little hamburger! Look at that hamburger! Thank you for watching. Let me know your thoughts again in the comment section down below, and I will see you in the next one. Everybody spoke in the last video and they said, oh my God, Tim is unbelievably annoying and I can't watch this anymore. But what I heard was we need more AI Tim. Please say hello to everybody, even though they think that you're super annoying and that you overuse the term skibbity. Well, hello, chat. Aren't you all just the cutest little peaches? Ready to see Hut screw up Isaac again? Because I sure am, skibbity boop bop. Skibbity boop bop?